Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Utility Make Decision. In the channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel. So today's topic is all about the Python and Julia logical operators. So in this video, we'll talk about the what are the logical operators is all about and uh, how it is differing between the, these two languages. So if I uh, show you, so basically, uh, the, basically the logical operators are mainly three types. One is the AND operator, which is showing over here, and another one is the OR operator, another one is the NOT operator, okay? So AND, OR, NOT, these three operators are there. So so what are the uh, differences between that? So AND operator means the both condition needs to be true or false, only then it will work. So if you give a condition, so condition 1, okay? and condition two so this is the one condition and this is the another condition so to work for the end operator to work the both the operations so condition one and condition two needs to be uh, true or false basically both of them have to be the similar kind of nature only then it will work the end condition and our condition is a little different in our condition uh, like for one point what should i take for any of those like for our condition if i go so any of like either one okay either this one and the one this one okay so this is the or condition or okay. and not condition is a different thing not condition is something like uh, for not condition it is um, opposite of that like suppose in this particular condition condition one is basically true right so if you just put not before that like if you just write something like this a not e <clears throat> not true it will be come as the false so basically whatever you give in the not condition not fully not logical operator it will just give it opposite of that so that is the function of a uh, not logical operator okay so let's see how this particular operators are looks like into these two languages and how we can learn from them so you can see that I have already written those things like what are the AND condition or condition and NOT condition. So for first example is uh, to see. So you know that the one is less than two. Okay. And I've given this particular thing over here. So one less than two. And if I run this cell over there, you'll see that it is coming true because it's a true condition. Say comparison operator. So one less than two give you true. Okay and now we are going to apply the logical operator on top of that so you can see that over here i have given two logical operators one is the one less than two another one is one less than two so in that case both of them are true like one less than two is true so in this particular condition is uh, true this particular condition also true okay so if i run this cell and how it is coming let's see it is coming true because both of the condition are true in or like and condition both of them have to be true okay but suppose if any of them is not true like one less than two is true and one greater than two that particular output is a false so if i write something like this so this one one less than two this is basically true we know that and one greater than two this is basically false okay so these two conditions and if i uh, after that if i just using this and operator between that true and false either one of them are false so if you multiply true and false it will give you false basically so if i <coughs> run this cell okay, just a minute so if i run this cell <coughs> It will give you false because any of uh, this true like this is true this is false 
so any of them are false so if i multiply these two together so it will give you false so that's the false condition okay so if i go there all so again another one is or operator so over here if i use the same thing like one less than two and one greater than two okay so any of them one is true and is false so for one and operator because both of them are different so that is why it is giving false but for the odd operator any of them either one of them should be true then it will give you true okay so if i run this cell it will give you true because one less than true is definitely true but one greater than two is false either one of them are true so that is why it is giving us true because this one this one is true so that is why it is giving true or but this one is false so that is why it's not giving false okay so this is the thing and not so not is basically just the opposite of a uh, any condition so over here i have written uh, false false is a boolean in python so i have written false and before that i just put the not logical operator so for opposite of false is basically true so if i run this cell you can see that it will give you true okay instead and instead of that like if i just write like true over there okay just see that if i just write true okay so opposite of true should be false right so if i run this cell it gives you false so not operator is working like this. it's just opposite of that so that's a not operator so the same thing is i'm going to apply on the next cell where <clears throat> i have written a particular uh, competition operator so that is one less than two so we know that one less than two is true because one is very smaller than two so it is a true so if i run this cell not true so it should give false similar to the above so instead of true i've given this condition one less than two so it should give you output as true and if i just apply not on top of that it will give you false <clears throat> see the similar sort of thing you can see that like this is the basically the logical operators so let's see how this logical operator or the similar kind of thing is going to be happen in julia so if i go to the julia notebook so this is a julia notebook even here i have written those things in the similar format to show you if there is any difference between the julia and python in terms of the logical operators okay logical operators so so let's uh, try to run the first cell so this is basically the one less than two so if i run this cell it will give you true okay so you can see that it is similar kind of work like in python the it is giving true in julia also it is giving true okay only difference is in julia the boolean syntax start is small t in python that is in capital t okay so now just if i run the similar thing in julia it is looks something like this so if i go to the python notebook if you see that in python notebook and operator is uh, written like this a and d normal uh, english word like a and d and but in julia if you want to apply the and operator it is looks like this so in julia the and operator is something like this this, this one okay so you can see that and and is basically this okay and also i'm showing or operator is also showing something different over here the two dashes over there so this one so this is the basically the or operator two dashes is or okay and two and is and and if i write the not operator so not operator is something like this is not in julia yeah. so that is the difference the operation wise it is quite similar let's say so if i just go here so if i just run this cell you see it will give you a similar sort of output okay this is uh, giving the and operation and here one less than two is true 
but one greater than two is false so if i run this particular cell uh, it will give you result so that is the difference over here and in julia or you can also see that the or operation is referred to something like this in dash so if i just run this cell it is or operation so it will give you true because either of them are true one less than true is true but one greater than two is false so either of them are true so that is why it is giving true and a not operator i am giving in this way so in julia so if i just run this cell it should give you true because opposite of false is true okay and one less than true is true opposite of true should be false let me just run this cell okay false so so this is the differences between the julia and python in terms of the logical operators i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and also check out this particular wonderful playlist of julia and python comparison where you can learn both the languages together and it will help you in your data science journey so i will see you soon very soon thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe thanks